सजेन विद द लॉ इफ देन डेविड कॉल्स हिम लॉर्ड हाउ इज ही हिज सन नो वन वाज एबल टू आंसर हिम अ वर्ड नेदर डिड एनी वन डेयर हैस्क हिम एनी मोर क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम दैट डे फॉर्थ ऑफन जीसस इज बीइंग क्वेश्चंड but here on the contrary jesus asks questions now jesus takes the offensive and asks the pharisees a pair of related questions what do you think of christ and whose son is he the pharisees answered of david son of david is a common title for the messiah and matthew uses it several times in his gospel david of course was Israel's great king the one under whose reign Israel became a great nation the Jews looked forward to the day that the son of David would come again to liberate the Israel from the Roman domination and reestablish it as a great nation but Jesus did not come to fulfill the traditional expectations concerning David as an earthly king and a warrior yes he is the son of David but moreover he is the son of God the fact that god announced both the jesus baptism and transfiguration yahweh is the first lord in psalm 110 so in this passage who is the second lord it cannot be a second god as the old testament clearly states that there is only one god and no other gods no israelite would address his son as lord thus it cannot be david son the only other alternative is that The second lord of Psalm 110 is the Messiah of God who is David's lord rather than David's son as a result when the Pharisees view these highly educated religious experts who attempt to humiliate Jesus answer that the Messiah is the David's son they are mistaken it also suggests that this psalm was inspired by the spirit of God rather than the being the result of David's literary skill a truth that Jesus audience would agree with This psalm was written by David on account of heavenly inspiration giving it great emphasis. We witness an identity crisis here with people trying to figure out who the son of God is. We humans meet on numerous occasions trying to figure out who Christ is even though the Pharisees were lained and claimed to be the greatest at observing traditions and rules. How could they not recognize Christ? ritualistic activities do not lead as the appropriate knowledge about Christ but faith alone does it we need a divine assistant to understand Christ fully so let us try to understand who Christ is in my life during this meditation let us pray sincerely for the divine inspiration to help us comprehend who Christ is for us amen